and hello all you archaeologists, welcome to the proximity. I'm the John Structor. I'm having a Final Fantasy Fortune As Go Light as what the fuck, what's it called? As Go Light, So Goes Darkness? I'm having a Heaven's Ward adventure really. It's we're on the first patch. Uh sort of we haven't we haven't quite finished. Uh the the, the, the this questline here. But I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to start the quest line now. Although, you know, we're right here. We'll pick up this quest. So, um, I took a bit of a rest and now it's 11pm. Which is an awkward time. Uh, it's, it's, but I think I have four hours. And I think that's literally when the cutoff point will be. So I'm going to try and fill those four hours. Uh, and you might be th if I've got work tomorrow, shouldn't I try to get a sleep? Yeah, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to. Because, I mean, Bartlett doesn't drink a Pepsi, but... I don't think I would have been able to anyway, because I've been up later and later and later. It's just going to be not fun tomorrow morning, regardless. But let's try and have fun here, shall we? Uh, okay, I'm. Uh... <sighs> Sorry, I'm in the pro uh, I'm in the process of moving home as well, which uh, I'm giving myself some treats, which is why I, I, I had a big I had a big meal, and I probably shouldn't have had that either. And uh, like a big meal, we are going to gorge ourselves. On some Final Fantasy. There you go. Uh, made that relevant somehow. Um, what a weird introduction. Let's play computer games. Uh, I don't understand any of this Gordon Gordian stuff, but uh, apparently uh, we want it. Pshka, our blunders are gone too long for comfort, Red Bricks. Don't stop his place of clashings with Illuminati. Illuminati are up to no good. Maybe using confusion to foul things up, Lando Mesco. See, make sure all is well. Okay, but we're not going to do that just yet. We're actually going to start on next start on this quest line. I don't know how long these things usually take, uh, but I feel like it was like two to four hours. It'd be really cool if I get the patch done. Um, and uh, I've given myself a list of uh, like dungeons and stuff I need to collect. Good to count. But at first, uh, you know, we, I believe we have uh, two dungeons and one raid. Uh, and how long could that possibly take? We'd, and, you know, we don't have to rush through it or anything like that. I'm going to just play it at the normal pace. Think. Oh, right there. That's vigil. Maybe it's um. Auto. There we go. An uncertain future. Afano wishes to share the latest developments in the search for missing sons. So this is the bit I've been exciting about. Because this is, like, all the last quests I knew was happening. Oh, you got to beat the boss. Oh, you got to do this. Oh, and it's nice to have the resolution to the story. But I want to know where it's going next, you know? Of course, we're searching for the sound. So we're not going to... Get that much information. Fortuitous timing is always naive. Taro was about to brief me on the search for our missing comrades. You'd be so kind then. Absolutely, you'll be pleased to hear that Riol and his men have been making excellent progress. You remember how Flamin helped me escape the Crystal Braves and Nymsa Lominsa only to then disappear? Well, according to Riol, she crept aboard the ship bound for Radat's hand, where she's been hunting ever since. He assures me that it won't be long before we're reunited. As for Eden and Papalimo, the remains of their link pearls have been found at the Pearl Line of all places. We all think they must have disposed of them after escaping from the Royal Promenade. Yes, that makes sense. They could not risk being eavesdrops upon our... But by our betrayers. The fact that I can't talk, not a great sign there. Uh, but we've all but certain to fled the city shortly afterwards, though I still don't have a clue where they went. I see, but what of Thancred and Minfilia? 
I'm afraid I have nothing good to share about those two, but it's it's not all doom and gloom. The good news is we've enlisted the services of Charlie and Scholar, one of the students of Baldassian, to aid in the search. We should be arriving any day now. Well, the, the cat guy? One of the students, you say? I should very much like to meet the Scholar, if time permits. First, we must attend to more pressing matters. Sir Emmerich summoned the two of us for a private audience. The messenger did not specify what he wished to discuss, only that it was urgent. Assuming you have no objections, Naive, I suggest we proceed with the congregation forthwith. Mayhap we meet the scholar afterwards, agreed? Fun. In that case, I think we'll return to the Forgotten Night for now. Things are liable to fall apart as I'm gone long, you know? Fun. Uh, you know what? I want to know what that quest is. Gods of Eld, I don't think that's what I want. Is there anything? So I've I've written down the quest. Uh... <laughs> oh, my handwriting is not great. The sky unquiet in the pillars. Oh, there we go. There's a guy called Unquiet. We're in the pillars, aren't we? Yeah, we want to go there. Okay, Athenium. Sky Pirates. Yes. And there we go. We don't have to read these uh, fair share of trouble. I'm going to read it to myself quietly. Yeah, so the idea is now airship travel is popular and sky pirates can suddenly exist. Camp Cloud Top. so far the top three our quests we want to do is there anything else uh it'll share the of clouds hinterlands yeah the javain hinterlands um where is this taking us just uh, over there okay i'm glad i grabbed that at least Oh yeah, doing dungeons is gonna be the hard bit this late. <sighs> Let's just proceed. Thank you for coming. I wish to speak with you both in a place where privacy was assured. We quite understand. What was it that you wished to discuss? With my father's passing, the seat of the Archbishop lies vacant. And so, in accordance with canon law, I have assumed his responsibilities. Oh, I see. I stress that this is a temporary measure. It was never intended that the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights serve in this capacity indefinitely. Quite the opposite. The statutes specify that I should surrender my powers as soon as a conclave of the senior clergy and the high houses have named a new archbishop. There is no conclave. In light of recent events, that would not seem appropriate. 
I confess I did not expect you to divulge quite so much quite so soon. The details of the Archbishop's plans, perhaps, but the true origin of the war and all it entails? I, too, had concerns. But when the Warrior of Light is witnessed returning to the capital upon the back of a dragon, one's options are rather limited. That's fair enough, yeah. Mayhap I could have concealed certain details, but for how long? And at what risk? Should the truth have come to light in the meantime, how would the people have viewed my silence? After a thousand years of lies and secrecy, I could not well abuse their trust and hope to be believed. The time for deception has passed. I only wish the people agreed. That some would deny the truth I had anticipated, but not this many. And among the few who acknowledged that my father had to be stopped, no small number questioned our methods. If they suspect a coup, it will not be long before some turn to violence. It has already begun, and that on both sides. Men and women of the cloth are being harassed in the streets. Some have even been assaulted in the broom. Hilda and her people have formed a watch to help us maintain order. But such measures will not prevent the unrest from spreading. Yay, Hilda! For all our talk of peace, the people remain frightened and confused. For their sake, we must bring the Dragonsong War to a definitive end. And we should be glad to help you, Sir Emmerich. But what precisely would you have us do? We wish to treat with the dragons of Annex Trine. To that end, I would trouble you for an escort and an introduction. She got a new tiara, I see. Annex she broke her old one. You would speak with Vidofnir then? You know, she dramatically broke it and it's like, oh fuck, I need that. We must needs open a dialogue between our peoples. Acting as my representative, Lucia will extend an invitation to their leader that she might visit us here in Ishgard. Was she still with us, I would of course have beseeched Isel's assistance in this matter. But as she is not, I must ask that you aid us in her stead. Will you do us this favor? Oh, I mean, yes. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. Lucia, I leave the rest to you. In the wake of the Archbishop's fall, the nation of Ishgard trembled, the faith of her people shaken to its very core. For a thousand years had they fought and died, certain of the justice of their cause, only to be told that their holy war was born of the sins of their forefathers. What then for those brave men and women, thus stripped of their righteousness but to despair, to deny the truth and decry its speakers? And what then for those whom they defamed but to hope on, to have faith in a brighter tomorrow? A tomorrow in which man and dragon might live together in harmony, then as distant as the very stars in the heavens. Oh, they're well far away, those stars. Yet Get. while we dared to hope, deep within his lair, the enemy lay, gathering his strength. Try to get there, would drag on. Nidhogg, now possessed of his two eyes and the body of the Azure Dragoon. Prizes to which he had laid claim at the very hour of the hero's triumph. As death 
Desperately as we sought the solace of peace, the great worm craved the misery of war. Nor was he alone in his misbegotten desire. I know little of the lands that these dragons call home. This annex shrine have you not agreed to escort me? Heaven journey would seem a far more daunting prospect. Confessor, I myself once shuddered at the thought of it. Yet even the longest journey begins with its first step, does it not? Ah, uh, but ere we set forth, Nayev, I must needs inform our comrade of our plans. Very well, I should see to my preparations. Let us go to bid farewell to Tataro, Nayev. That we shall do. Uh, yeah, if I want to do the dungeons, we should actually probably do them first. We have the most chance of actually getting the cues done. But we do have a... We'll do this first. So what was your secret meeting all about? I'm all ears. Diplomatic mission to Annex Trine, you say? Well, I suppose that does take the precedence. But should your meeting with uh, Vinofnir happen to end early, you might consider rendezvousing with Ishtola uh, in Idilshire. She'll be there to receive our guest. But don't get me wrong, your meeting with the dragons is terribly important and everything, but this scholar just happens to be... Term permitting, as I said, we shall endeavour to join Ishtola, but if we cannot, pray pass on our regards. Let us be off now, we have kept the first commander waiting long enough. Okay, so that wants us to go oh back to there actually uh when it wants it oh i want one of these okay thermal bird Yeah, like, so if quests are in the same zone, there's no real reason for me to leave. You're ready then? Good, so am I. Uh, oh, a hot chocolate. Creme brulee. Oh, what? <laughs> I'll get the one that makes sense, I guess. Um... How many of those did we get? One. Oh. We'll have it now then, shall we? How long does it last? 30 minutes. You couldn't have given us two? Try and not forget that. Quick in the cycle. I've also written down what quest I shouldn't do. As it once was, that's when I, but like, there's obviously going to be a big thing happen before that. Uh, the path is long, but known to us from Falcon's Nest, we shall cross the Western Highlands to make for the Tail Feather in Trevanian Forelands. There we can stop to rest and replenish our supplies. Questions? If not, then stables await. Tail Feather. Right, um... Let's go to Cl Camp Cloudtop first. Um. There he is. Supply airship has gone missing, you say? Well, that would certainly explain why our provisions were so late in arriving. I did, in fact, spy a vessel charting an erratic course northward a short while ago, but it was, seemed disinclined to make port there. I paid little mind. Not the most com compelling piece of evidence, I grant you, but I've witnessed naught else of interest. I suggest you investigate the landmass to the north, rest short, and word if I spy another sign of our errant supply ship. Uh, do you want to 
give me some more instructions. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, I see them. We can fly, so getting there shouldn't be too quite that difficult. Wait, well, there's actually a thing on the map that says. There is also a quest line for new cool weapons, which again are all already out of date, but they look neat, so if we have time we'll start try and start that quest line, but it is apparently quite grindy, but the last one was as well. Um But I would like to start it. There's lots of things I'd like to do. No idea if it's even possible to do within this time frame. Ah, we'll make some good coin from this hole, and then we'll see if this fool is worth a ransom. <gasps> aid, aid, I say, these villains mean to plunder my cargo. What have we got here then? I think you've got you're just some sort of hero, do you? Not a happy bunny. Well then, you won't mind if the, my mates here join the fun. Make for a more heroic tale, won't it? A tale of how freed sky pirates fed and meddling little shite her own bloody eyes. Uh. What the? Oh God, I know the ship. It's. Uh, whatever the ship in the 12 is. You're the Scrags have been dragging our good name through the mud. Oh, he's the good Sky Pirate, is he? You're Red Bill Leopard. We ain't done naught to you and yours. What do you want with us? I think you made my position. I made my position pretty clear. You take on the mantle of Sky Pirate. You agreed to a certain code of conduct, and the codes ain't worth much. Folks ain't breaking them. Frankly, lads, you're making us look bad. We can't have that. I need to adjust on a little bit higher, but obviously, we just don't have time for me to fuck around. <gasps> just murdered those guys. It, I just killed the God King. Like, it's a lot more impressive. Thank you, Leofard. Uh, I must have wished to repay you. I, I don't need to read these out, do I? So, a merchant with trades with me, associates, so it's uh, for Leofard, and any reward should meet, reach me soon enough. Symbol's very messy. As for you, adventurer, then often someone beats me to the scene. But, uh, yeah. It, it, uh, it is, yep, that is me. Well, I guess I am on the mana cutter, yeah. It gives me a straight like a pear cider made of whole pear. And uh, taking a few risks. Hmm. We need to go where you will. <laughs> I love the idea of. That's what sky pirating is about. Blue window. Okay. I'm going to try and save my voice for important things. I guess certain, like the patch took like six months to come out, so like in six months, sky piracy be suddenly became a thing. Um, okay. Found it. 
And it's kind of clever because you can hide all sorts of things in these islands. What is that? I mean the balloon. Oh, can do. I think it's that we're heading for. Not 100% sure about that. Oh, yeah, that was wrong. It's up here. I think the flying ship's actually slowly un unlocked as well. Uh, far enough. Uh, yeah, I'm here by the invitation. Stasia. Although we do have a dragon. Canonically, we either have the mana cut or a dragon. Ooh, where are we? Come to you in person, still you refuse my offer of her. Arrogant fool! Okay. Badly, yeah, uh, okay. We have a villain, do we? I do stay a fat house. Would you propose to survive an expedition into the ghost ship? In my life, just, they're, they're all about the pirate garb. For my life, uh, means you put my back. Okay, that certainly was an expression. Hmm. A bunny, that is a face I've not seen before. I don't look like a little bird, I'm a, a, a rabbit. Captain of the Talons. Teach them some respect. We'll see who rules the skies. I well, promise high adventure. High adventure you shall have. Uh, I mean, we they already have sea pirates. I guess sky pirates have a different aesthetic. Massive airship. Shift to the wind. Cursed ship is haunted. Honest to God's ghost ship. Hmm. Favorite relic relic for relic if are the elegans. Hmm. Yeah, I do like to fling myself into danger. Ta-ta.
cool. Oh, I found Utata. Utata's right here. Greetings, my name's Utata. Call me the Red Bill's Chief of Engineering. Okay, uh... To rule the skies. Well then, ladies and gentle pirates, uh, yeah, we have a ghost ship situation. When it was planned, uh, for the Derelict Trail. Unique etheric signature. Hector Compass. More for in inspiring music. See the word. Have an armload of treasure. I know Sky Pirates from 12. I'm assuming they're from Tactics. No way of knowing what's waiting for us on the Custard Hulk. Uh, yeah, bring along a few mates. Oh, there we go. It seems like we've gotten to the dungeon already. Honest to God's go ship. <laughs> Oh shit! That's not a. That's not a dungeon. That's a raid. Oh fuck. Uh, and my item level is not high enough, but potentially fixed. That's an alliance raid. Ooh, that's different. Fuck. Um, cool. Right, I didn't actually uh, look at which quests were what. Um, uh, right. Interlands we'll do later. Um, what does that say? Limsa Lamincer. Let's go see the other types of pirates. Um, you know what? I've changed my mind. Uh, we'll do that, but... Might as well go to. It'll, we have a couple of things to do in it'll try. Not least uh, to buy a little bit of extra armor. See if we can get into the Void Arc. Don't think that's one for us. Um. I wish I double checked what these were. Right, uh, not. Unexpected proposal, I think. I want. Yeah, I do. It's not the only thing I want. We, we want a bunch of things. Uh. Right, I've got four fifty three. Uh, I guess we want the uh, this. We want the boots. Now I like my boots, and also it seems to be the same. Uh, we'll get the eye patch. Because otherwise it's just us and the glasses forever. They don't think we're wearing glasses right now, are we? We just have nothing on our head. Um, and we are not quite ready, sadly. But... We are now the Cyber Bunny 
Cyber Pirate goes with the Cyber Pirates, though. Right, um, but I'm sure we'll grab up gets more soon enough. Uh, planning a trip to Evidence Tar Tarl. Good evening to you, Nive. Something got on your mind? It's very weird, it doesn't normally get out. Uh, I've been called back to Evidence Tarl to take care of the shipment of wares. On that thought, it seems I have visitors more welcome than others. Uh, it's a very risque dress she's wearing. Um, need to talk about the promissory rope note. Hmm. Man of business, you ever in What was that, Geralt? Uh, with your associates. Yeah, I didn't know Geralt could go to see Verena. Well, I would have saved loads of time if I had it. They just stood next to each other for a while. Hmm. No. Business is more important than a man's life, eh? Then myself. Looking research into manipulation of theoric energies called the East. Uh, the anima. Self same force that allows individuals to traverse the live stream by etherites. Oh, there we go. You're sort of combining 10 and 7 stuff here. Using soul stone with the requisite quantities of ether. Forces are harnessed. See, it's anima weapons we're trying to get right now. And we're not going to do a lot of this, to be honest, but like the quest was right here, so I thought I might as well grab it. The other thing is, like, of course, when it cuts off, I'm going to need the quests open so I can continue with them without having this whiteboard. strong animal weapon that's absolute genius L cell joking it yeah I am known as a hero around these parts. Animal weapon, I do want one. Yes. Oh. But I already have a legendary weapon. Yeah, and we want it for what it looks like. anything else 110 maybe there's something cheap we could do yeah the rings I've been able to get two rings but whatever one dungeon will be all it takes okay is there anything else here uh, surely the um
Big quest. Yeah, what's this? Not very far. I'm just going to check to see if there's anything else. Um, I don't know what some of these are, but uh, Thornton's Rain Can Wait. The Minstrel Song thing would be too... too like, we're not doing that at midnight. Um, Sky Pirates. Uh, I don't Oh, this is Stella. Hello. Uh, no, Tom told you. Sorry, Stella. But uh, yeah, there's two dungeons I need to do as well. I just want them to be able to queue up while I do other stuff. Everything still as we found it. They haven't come back, have they? No, they've gone for now. Everyone seems to be fine physically, at least, but Rad Rocks. Gone. All gone. Poor thing, the Illuminati took everything. Uh, I'm just glad she was off collecting trinkets with Black Ricks. Uh, I mean, Black, Black Ricks. Uh, when they came, I didn't think what they might have happened had she been here. Come, come, little one, dry your tears. <gasps> one thief, unconscious, we found him looking near the end of town, not far from your treasure round rocks. Blunt up in treasure's home, thank Oh, that, that's just got resolved, fair enough. Uh, many, many thanks. Well, Big's little one here, the feeling a few soldiers might be looking around, willing to ambush us, and this is what we stumbled onto when we went to look. Why didn't the Illuminati take Round Rocks' collection in the first place? Surely they can't have been their goal. Wouldn't be so sure were I to guess. I'd say the Illuminati believed something they wanted was hidden amongst Round Rocks' pile of trinkets. Rather than waste time sorting through them all, they decided to take the lot. When they subsequently realised they didn't have what they were looking for, they crept back into town to wait for another chance to seize whatever it was they actually wanted. The bad gobbies want most favourite treasure of Radrox want one that is safe for the Uplanders. I mean the glowstone that I have borrowed, but of course it's been sitting in the decoding machine all along. Yes, yes. Radrox would be sad without pretty glowstone. It's a special treasure from the old castle, rusty one left by the Uplanders. From before. Wait, you mean from before, Radrox? You were near the Charlian ruins when the metal giant first appeared? Yes, yes, Round Rocks saw a whirly gog. Giant stand three years ago, but it was only for a little bit. Big gobbies do not believe Round Rocks. Three years ago, somebody tried to f and failed to summon the primal. I don't necessarily need to be reading these ones, but I think this is sort of vaguely plot, you know. It might become relevant. Fragments of the Codex, all the places in the realm. Only a fragment of the original, so the crystal must be the Illuminati's missing piece. It's a shiny rock.
We may have stopped the problem from taking the prize, but our foes are not about to admit defeat. They'll be back now for blood, like, like as not. They're in greater numbers. But we've got you now, Heaven. I'm sure we'll be ready for the onslaught when it comes. Might I suggest you make merry till then? Was this just handing in a quest? I guess so. Shikara, Round Rocks is happy. Many friends worry. Think Round Rocks Uplander is one Round Rocks thank kind Uplander. Let me chime in as well, Nive. Round Rocks' home needs protection, and you provided not many would do that. Not in the face of the primal. You have my thanks also. Me to help Round Rocks too. Uplanders have good hearts and kind. One not so many of us find... Only so many of us find Mac and a pretty, my dear. We have to stick together, don't we? You'd meet always like Whirly Cogs and Beatty Bobs. Not like you, Round Rocks. My love, he adored things. Inventing, building, and tinkering the, with them. Meet always such as hurt mark when remembering. Do I? Well, I suppose I do. Uh, those times were something else, little one. My friends and I we were lost in our dream. We fought to put back the pieces of the broken world with logic, reason, and technology. And we were certain we could do it too. I had much skill in thinking up things and making them, but I started my own small way. And the feeling of aiding somebody else's dream, sharing it, washes over you like a wave of happiness. I never felt that way since. Now it all seems so far away. Even the memories feel like I dreamed them rather than lived them. Well, enough of that. Mad Rock is right, Venture. You can't decide to keep an eye on the gold until next time we meet, do we? Oh, yeah. Be armed. Mad Rock sinks long and hard of what to do with precious glowstone, favorite treasure. Okay, I'm gonna start. Give it to mid, she'll be happy. She's got copies, dead up, take. Close down from me. Go. Unlocks. Look more across. Hmm. Because this is also probably the quickest way to. Um... Oh, it's over there. Earn more money that we can go into the Void Arc. But again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything now. At past. Now, it's not last thing on a Sunday, but it is last thing on a Monday. Which is still not a great day to, for me doing computer games. Lots of steel. Okay. No, I'm not here for the view. Codex Fragment. I'll use the stone over the rest of it. Okay. Ooh. Capable of defending it, safe of all concerned. Gods know the Illuminati was stopping nothing. There you go. The last is no more used to me than any other rock. Yeah, I remember the reveal. Most, uh, one who shares the fundamental principles. Roundvox possesses those qualities. Oh no, we've got to protect Roundvox. Okay, got to get rid of uh, Roundvox. No, we've got to protect Roundvox. What are you talking about, John? She can't make it shine. It's thought I'm no longer worthy. Oh? Huh? Why'd you make me? Oh, it's back, 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 Rix. 
If I planned with much urgency, I planned it must return. Chikar. Illuminati getting ready for something big. Are oh, they resumed their attempts to revive it? Uh, they're building another weapon. Come ahead. Yeah, so I didn't realise there'd be a short quest line between the uh, Alexander parts. Feels like we're pushing it for what we're trying to get done here. I found Ishtola. What the hell's if it ain't Ishtola? Nobody tell me you are coming. The disturbance of the scale demands my personal attention, judging by the marked fall in ambient ether c concentrations. The situation is far graver than I previously assumed. Uh, certain still monstrosity is to blame. Cat. Uh, Johnson, it's uh, well nigh saturated with ether already. Something else, and regular energy coming from within the barrier. Let's get Illuminati up something. Let's hit them. You want to hit them? Uh, I'm not going to dive straight into this. Uh, I want to like queue up like three dungeons. Newest, perhaps most astounding invention: uh, the electro jammer. Ill, most of a kind. Dang. Speech this with astonishment. Uh, interfere with all enemy communication is making it impossible to coordinate. Hmm. Take me unaware. Is this supposed to happen? And we all died. <laughs> the grin. Bloody hells. That doesn't, doesn't bode well. That's the second arm, I guess.
Oh, just a second arm. I guess we want to go to its head instead of its heart. You've woken it up. Nay, only the left arm stirs. Could the waves emitted by your device have disturbed something within the barrier wedge? Not my fault. Not why wedge. The Umnati had to work reviving the giant. It was only a matter of time before parts which started to into life. Give this one extra nudge, but I know it would seem you saved the trouble of finding another way in. Yeah, what's the point of trousers in this game? They're always covered up with their long boots. Uh, show them what for. I shall watch show them what for. Do the punch. Do the, the bunny punch. The rabbit punch, I guess it would be. Um, that's the Matoya. stirs to life, future unfolds exactly as something, I don't know, I pressed the button accidentally there. Okay. Uh, light kicks. Yeah, it appears to be in that direction. Can I even go in that direction? That seems like a direction I'm not allowed to go in. Yes, that's what I thought. Uh, how the fuck does one get to light kicks? Hmm. On the other side, presumably. Okay, this is taking a little bit more time than I thought it would, but... Uh, I am going to go and do something else for a little bit. If it's dungeons we want, we should go, go get dungeons. Uh, hit... Um, Sky Pirates It's already been found um, That's that's already part of that Limsum uh, Luminsa, let's go there looking for Can we dance oh no I do kind of want the dancer I do uh, it's a very it's so very tempting but um, next time but not now next time Uh, and looking for out of the blue. Sage's path. Ooh. Wanna be a fisher? Arcanist. Out of blue.
Oh. Okay. I, I'm looking for Pro, Proact. That's one of the giant's names. Um. About a, a dungeon quest thing. Um. It's not called Eagle Lumincian. Or Zealous Yellow Jacket. Certainly not a dancer. Is there really nobody here? Maybe I've not unlocked the thing before. Oh, there's suddenly a thing there. There he is. Oh, serious. Another Final Fantasy XII thing. Couple of Tyrion. Perfect time as always. We'll need talents. Kobolds. Oh, goddamn kobolds. Ship landing, where is that? Take the lift. Yeah, I, I want to be queuing up for a dungeon while I do the other quests and. There we go, five. Knows whether I'm actually allowed to do that or not. And obviously, who knows whether I'll actually get in or not. No, I wanna... I can, it won't get me 30 though, but... Right, uh, it says 11 minutes, that doesn't bode well, but we are going to try and... Um, that was a green one. Okay, let's go to the Hinterlands. Which is what we need for the main quest and for picking up another quest. Who am I looking for in the hinterlands? Techie. Um, okay, I can't see Techie. So I'm just going to continue the main quest, I think. We can go to a computer and ask Leia. Oh, we are allowed to fly here, cool.
I was imagine the first time I set foot upon Trevanian soil. Why didn't I bring my phone? Uh, the head of the army, here I am, ready to treat brothers and sisters, mine enemies. Uh, full well do I know how difficult it is to set aside the past. Though it was I who first proposed recruiting a sail to our cause, I questioned the wisdom of my words since I'd uttered them for a long time after that. Here was a woman with the blood of the innocents in her hands, men, women, children, all slain in the name of the implacable Lady Iceheart. She, yet she acknowledged her misdeeds and agreed to join us. Common cause at her side, she fought in service to the greater good, even unto her dying breath. While that does not absolve her of her sins, I hope that one day she will be remembered not merely as a heretic, but as a misguided soul who dreamt of peace. You ask my chat, Master Alvino, but who can say what might come of to pass? Our uh, negotiations bear fruit. Yes, of course, we must press on to Annex Trine. Follow me. We'll, we'll keep us bad for all this because obviously the time's against us. And we could just unlock dance if we need a level 60. That'll give me something new to do as well. Yeah, something fun for next time. Possibly wasn't faster. Bit off near. Thou art ever welcome here, friend of Isail. This one I do not know. They forgive us. This unannounced visit to Vinofnir, we present to you Lucia, first commander of the Temple Knights of Ishgard, our trusted friend. It is an honour to meet you, Vinofnir. Come as an envoy, Sir Emmerich, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights and the acting leader of the Holy See. Indeed, you may speak, Knight. For 1,000 years, man and dragon have been locked in an endless cycle of bloodshed and sorrow. To our shame, we long believed your kin to be the architects of this war, but now we know the truth. King Thordon, his knights did willfully betray and murder the great worm of Ratatoska of Shattering Peaks between our peoples. Yes, I'm going to read this all really fast. For 1,000 years, our leaders conspired to conceal this truth, for truth which is at last laid bare the warrior light by the, and the Zyod Dragoon and his sail. Alas, deception so intricately wrought cannot be undone in a moment. The people labelled to labour to accept the truth. For an eternity of war, who would dare dream of the peace that could last, be at last be within our grasp? Yet dream we must, this sail once did. And once we take make that dream a reality, as yes, she could not. I humbly beseech you, Vidofna. What? She's dead? Uh, join hands with us in friendship once more before the eyes of my people in Ishgard. Most unexpected invitation. I've heard your request, Knight. However, I cannot give you mine answer. May I ask why? Because you have must. The matter concerned my sire, he must needs be consulted. However, Gnaf grow bold as they ever did before. I would not leave my people at the mercy of the swarm. Well, yeah, forget we did all that, didn't we? That was, like, in a different set of, of streams there. Uh, then we will wait. After a thousand years at war, we shall not give up on the peace for want of patience. Fear not, knight. Thou shalt have mine answer within thy lifetime. So soon, my humble thanks. I shall bear your words to my lord of wit. We meet again. Given the circumstances, I would say that went rather well. I think I'm surprised our proposal was not rejected outright, but there ought will come of it remains to be seen, however. Maybe I should take this opportunity to speak to some of the other dragons, but uh, you will not wait for me. My journey, return journey, holds no fear for me now. If you have no further need of our services, we shall continue on to Charlion. 
We shall hope to welcome a scholar who has agreed to aid us search for our missing comrades. And I pray your journey is as swift and uneventful as ours was. Thank you again for sparing the time to assist us when such grave matters remain unresolved. I can think of no greater graver matter than the Thousand Year War, one which our friends gave their life to see ended. Suffice to say, I would not I would willingly make a, such th thousand such journeys to ensure the sacrifice was not in vain. Uh, no doubt. Uh I fate's welcome you on to that word. Okay. All due to that word even. Cool. Quest complete. I have to figure out where the hell Tetchy is, but Ooh. Um it's a white mage though, but like a Final Fantasy three master white mage, I forgot what it's called. Um uh, so it would seem we have time to greet Scholar after all. How delightful. I shall be interested in hearing how she means to go about finding Minfilia and Thancred. I can only assume she's privy to some new investigative technique. In the event, our first order of business is to rendezvous with Vishtolo in Idiotshire. See, if we'd done it properly, we could have, like, did Idiotshire at that time. But, um, I'm not seeing anyone glowy on the map. Is there another dragon map? There. The adjoining area. Um. Hmm. Oh no, I think it was the hinterlands. Hang on. Yeah, where's the hinterlands? We'll do that then. Um. I don't remember where the hinterlands are. Uh. Well, that makes things confusing. Uh, there is oh there we go rearmed cool we need that for something else hang on <sighs> is Tetchy there then Tetchy must be there okay then to Idlechai then all roads lead to Idlechai Yeah, I'm not seeing these dungeons popping. All these quests I'm refusing to pick up. Okay, that's the main quest is here, but... I have, it's good to see you. I confess I'd... Your business in next time would detain you longer. Did your meeting with Vodafone go well? So as can be expected, she must uh, discuss uh, Emmerich's proposal of Rails for Gar. Of course, she seemed amenable to the suggestion of our Charlene guest. Has she arrived yet? She has, but I, when I explained that, that you'd be joining us, she asked if she could use the intervening time to explore. I agreed to meet her outside on the front bridge. We should be on our way. I don't think that's the actual place we want to go, but. Can we fly here? cannot fly here. Is there a way to fly here? Uh, not about quests. Oh, you know what? It's actually right there. Couple nix. Terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. That's a name I know. You need not apologize. We arrived but a moment ago ourselves. Oh, yeah, that costume would have been. Krill would have been able to actually wear that costume as well. Five. Pray, allow me to introduce Krau, who has recently come from the Charlie and Motherland. She has generously offered to assist us. Well, she's got the scanner. 
Oh, please, think nothing of it. A trip to Eorzea was long overdue. You must be the warrior of light. Yes, you certainly do look the part. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you at last, miss. And who is that I spy but young Alpha No Levinger himself? I dare say someone's grown an ill or two in my absence. Or are those lifts in your boots? I mean, he does have lifts in his boots. We, um... <clears throat> Miss Croyle and I met at the studium years ago. I shall forever be indebted to her for her sage guidance. Oh, she's, is she a sage? A sage is like a robot thing, isn't it? Whole task keeping him out of trouble, believe you me. The youngest ever to enter the studium. Him and his sister, 11-year-old prodigies. Suffice it to say, social graces were not among his list of talents. Striding up to his seniors on his first day, head held high. What was it he said again? Thank you, Kryle. For what? I haven't finished yet. Would you care to attempt a more dexterous deflection? Um. <clears throat> Mayhap we should save this delightful conversation for a more fitting occasion, when pressing matters do not demand our undivided attention. A bit much, but better. I can tell you have been putting your skills to use here in Eorzea. Henceforth, I trust you will dazzle me with your eloquence at the first time of asking. Right, on to more pressing matters. Finding Minfilia and the other missing scions. I gather you have new information to share with us. Hope she doesn't die. That's what happened to the last new member of Charlia. A new approach, actually. Tataru recounted the tale of your escape, and it gave me an idea. Simply put, assuming Thancred left some manner of trail when you whisked him away, as is almost always the case with teleportation magics, I am confident I can find and follow it. Then what are you waiting for? The wherewithal to do it. The fact is, my abilities aren't quite up to the task. <laughs> Yay! Themselves anyway. So I read ahead. If I had Master Matoya's crystal eye, on the other hand. Then let us all call on her forthwith. I think it best to explain your plan to her. In but case. she's lost her eye, yeah, I'm assuming, to a dark elf. D hang on, I, I'm trying to remember the quest line of Final Fantasy 1. This is like, you need an item to get an item to get an item to get an item to get an item. Wait, right. oh, good. Is this overgrown ambition? Is that the one I wanted? I don't know, but we'll see if it's the correct person. You obviously cannot... Uh... Okay, yeah, we've been in this queue for 15 minutes now, so... Oh, never mind. And it's Tetri as well. Hopefully it won't teleport us away. Just found Tetri. How serious. It's well hard. Come the girls. I have to figure out how to do a pose at some point. Oh, I don't. Of course, we're not stopping to find anything. Uh. Hmm. 
Nothing is so hard that we can't do it while running 40 miles an hour. But I do love the phrase, corrupted flan. Okay, arrive at the fuel chamber. Sticking around for these, okay. Oh, the passage has been created. I love that you jump. Oh, fuck. Uh, Uh, it's a Gra Luminary! Is that a boss? It is. Okay, let me sing the song of my people. I pay attention to what's going on on the screen at the same time. Uh, I accidentally pressed the Mage's Ballad, didn't I? That's really annoying. I hate doing that. Well, I might have to spit them out if I keep doing that. One day I'll learn, I'm sure. Okay, why are there balls flowing about? I'm nervous about the balls. Uh, I'm just going to keep hit hitting. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, there's like weird spider things. Oh, the balls are gone. Uh... Isn't this one of the villains to, um, Nomad's Soul? No, not Nomad's Soul, fucking hell. Uh, the one after that. Just destroy that corruption. Never mind, it's gone already. We took this. What's this? What's it called? It's gonna annoy me now. Uh, I mean, what's the point of fighting the other things? We just almost finished it. There we go. Um, not heavy rain between those two. Uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, all classes, don't care. Uh, the Indigo clan. That's ticking time bomb. Don't really want to be standing there. That guy okay, should clearly be um, trying to get in there and doing these big spells instead. Did take a chunk of damage though. Probably because of these bombs. Oh, hello, Craig. This is, um, I believe my time runs out in two hours and a half. So I'm trying to make the most of it. We have technically finished Heaven Sword. Uh, we saw a credit screen and everything. Uh, there is one uh, raid left, which is on my queues, but like. Credit screen is credit screen. It counts. Uh, where's my team gone? Are they here? I, I'm gonna assume they're here. Can't see shit. I see one person. Uh, I accidentally did the minuet.
But yeah. Uh, I've enjoyed my time here. But obviously, when I play this game, I play loads of it all at once. And that can be kind of exhausting. So, uh, ooh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I've only played the first of those three. Okay. Uh, no. Um, oh, yeah, no, no, that's correct. Do poisons. I don't know what that thing is doing, but everyone's running over there, so I'm going to run over there as well. Don't press the other song, John. That's what you always do. It's really annoying when you do that. Now we can press the other song. Oh, these ads we don't seem to need to kill them. I think other people are just getting them and not me. No, I should perhaps consider killing them myself. How are you, by the way? You enjoy your Easter weekend. Oh, there's fucking loads of things in there now. Uh, I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing vis a vis these weird engine things. Is that the third one? Ooh. Okay. There we go. And, uh, oh, we're quite far. We need to find, arrive at the incubator. Do I want any of these? No, I don't. I was right at the end of the first one. I was enjoying it. I just got distracted and it was before I finished everything. It was... I do regret not finishing it. It wasn't my favourite game in the world. But it... You know, there was no harm in actually finishing the game. Streaming's... I only started streaming because my brother started streaming and he was doing really well and I was like, oh, I might as well do it. It's easy enough to start now. And I could just sort of steal his momentum. And now he's stopped because he's like busy being a student and all. Uh, which is a shame because uh, he was all, he's a warmer person than I am. That helps a lot, I think. Look at this living rock. Okay, I think I should just be doing... Oh, fuck. Where's the other one? I'm seeing the words incubator, but I don't think this is the incubator. I think I mentioned before, I was of the opinion that they should bring back Lara Croft, but uh, figure out what her actual age would be if she was still the same person from the first game. Uh, then you could do one of those, um, you know, God of War, Last of Us things, where you have a, a ward. You, you, you're sort of doing your regrets and stuff. T try to uh, tell an actual story, rather than just constantly resetting. Yeah, I think I, I would like to see uh, a, like a 40 year old Lara Croft or however old she'd be. Make her a wily veteran. We have. A boy, this seems to be the boss. Oh, progenitrix. 
I'm here, sorry about that. What a gooey looking man. You sing the song of my people? Oh, Doc, put the two poisons on yet. Yeah. You're alright. Press the yay button. Oh, he's gonna die quick. Unless he's got a second form, there might be a reason why it doesn't say Regenatrix. Because he seemed too, too easy. Yeah, okay, this seems like a thing. Something's going on. We're just being told to secure the uh, incubator. back. Sing a new song then. Somebody leveled up. Is this a good flame or bad flame? Okay, I currently have no idea what's going on, but everyone seems to be fighting the progenitor still, so I shall also do that. Uh, we'll press that button as well. Pop off uh, bad things. Remember I put the duet on? It's a minuet, not duet. I can't do a duet by myself, strangely enough. Well, there we go. We have done a dungeon. This is Halloween. Yay! <laughs> Surrounded by cat ladies. And I shall judge them from my lofty heights of rabbit lady. Wanna help? Uh, nope. Just gonna leave. I'd like to set up macro so I can actually say, hey, thanks for that, GG. Um, cool, it just teleported me to the wrong place. Well, I guess we'll hand in this. I'm not reading this, though. Uh, cool. I'm, try I'm reading it quietly to myself. Oh, um, we changed armor annoyingly enough, but we had, um, her get up was the same color as I was wearing now. I was like, yeah! <laughs> you like that acknowledged I was a corporal as well. Hang on. Why oh, doesn't matter about the head? Uh, which one was it? No. Is it gone? Oh, it's here. We're wearing the hands already. What are they called? Adios. 
Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. And then she was wearing the same clothes as me. I, I, I thought this was a great guy. Uh, this is like my legendary bard get up I got from level 60 quest. But unfortunately, I had to get some cyber clothing. Uh, which replaced it. Although I do like this get up as well. It's just not the colors I happen to be wearing right now. Uh, but yeah, I've, I uh, finished the game. Um, and um, maybe they'll be nice enough to do another free weekend in three months. You know what? I don't want them to do it until after I've moved. <laughs> Which hopefully three months I should have done, but still. You can't guarantee that. Oh, so much work ahead of for me. Okay, we have about two hours left. So we might struggle. Like, I'm I'm I probably not gonna get Void Arc done. But that's fine. As long as we do the, the actual quest line, I'll, I'll be happy, I think. No bug. And hopefully this isn't too much of a quest line. We've got an ambition. I think this is it, because it's tetchy. Too many marbles. Uh, too many lambs. Uh, just on the my people. Yeah, there we go. Motion, sent motion, Zarparitum. And what's nice is it sort of synergized. Everything's in all of these places are close. I'm on a dragon. Where has Quest Guy gone? Oh, there's the models. I hope that they are not strong. Only. Is this the right person? I mean, he's right next to the Arbitorium, so we should. Yes. And life for every corner of the. Okay. Look forward to fighting a giant uh, Malvra. There we go. I guess we should. Um, I won't queue up immediately because there's like a quest right over here as well. That you should see if I can pick up. I don't even know if we can go over there. I'll have to look to see uh, when my solicitor gets back to me because uh, I'm going to have to start packing things up and it's probably a sensible idea to uh, pack up a television and just leave my computer behind. Uh, can I even go down there? How do I even get to that place? Birds and the bears.
just looked over there and saw a very cold cup of tea that I forgot to finish making. I think I need flying, uh, which is unfortunate. I, mi I seem to be missing a quest. Uh, but Matoya might have that quest for me. I can find my way back to her. Oh well. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Froggos. Fight you frog. You'd say we were headed for a cave, did you not? As I certainly did, didn't don't see a cave nearby, massive toy beating us on the way or something. use beholders, uh, except I've heard many stories of Master Matoya, some quite flattering, others less so. Sure, they are all true this way. Have care where you tread. Too late caffeine, so I got myself seven up. Also sugar free as well. Oh. So it's good for me. Is that trouble I smell? Or did you forget to wipe your boots and Forgive us, Master Matoya. We will be sure to wipe them on the way out. And may I say how glad I am that age has not yet deprived you of your senses. Oh, it was already on? Ever so quick witted, aren't we? To the detriment of your manners. Well, out with it then. What do you want? Pray, allow me to introduce myself, Master Matoya. I am Cryo, of the students of Baldessian. I hope you will excuse our unannounced visit. Baldessian, you say? Ah, oh, yes. The old coot set up shop on the Isle of Val, didn't he? Regrettably, our order's headquarters, and the Isle itself, were obliterated by a magic of immense power. I have the blessing of light to thank for my own preservation. Kyle, you too possess the Echo. Well, yes, of course I do. Our order is devoted to uncovering the mysteries of Hydaelyn and interpreting her will, particularly through the study of her gift to us. It was in the course of these studies that I met and subsequently befriended Minfilia. She and I have rather a lot in common. I had no idea. You weren't supposed to. Not that I wanted to deceive you, you understand, but precautions had to be taken. Yes, yes, that's all well and good, but you still haven't told me why you're here. The students of Baldessian are gone, and there is naught I can do to change that. But the signs of the Seventh Dawn can yet be restored, and my dear friend found. You have in your possession an ancient crystal of light, one you call your crystal eye. I believe I can use it to focus my abilities and locate one of the missing scions. 
And there I was, thinking you might want to make use of my years of experience. Oh, wait here. Long did I ponder the nature of this crystal and its familiar radiance. But never did I suspect it was a crystal of light. On the cusp of an umbral calamity, souls blessed with the power of the Echo invariably appear. To aid these her chosen warriors, Hydaelyn bequeaths to each a slither of her strength in the form of a crystal of light. It does. I've gotten 12. As her strength wanes, so too does the potency of her gifts. This crystal, born of an earlier era, is infused with a power far greater than those of this age. You could travel the length and breadth of the land and not find a crystal even a fraction as pure. Its value is beyond measure, as are the risks inherent in its use. No two manifestations of the Echo are alike. I, for example, can converse with beings of every shape and size, excepting beasts, contrary to what others would have you believe. Language has nothing to do with it, of course. Rather, I am sensitive to the whispers of the soul. Their intent, their very essence, even. The traces of which serve to guide the elementals to Yishtola. Far-fetched though it may sound, I believe that with your crystal eye, I may be able to pick up where they left off. That's a new rule about the Echo. To Thancred. That is, if I have your permission. Well, the poor sod's not going to find himself. So, as long as you don't drop it or take it out of my sight, you may do with it what you will. Thank you, Master Matoya. Cool. Then let us begin. Use that to power the ram. From the black shroud, the trail continues to the north and west, towards a mountain, the foot of Somme Arm. It was a near thing, but he was not deposited within the rock. I think. The hunters of Tailfeather know those lands well. I say we begin our search there. We're going to come back in this room because I'm, I need flying. Well, it's a good thing we didn't try to do the dungeon before the cutscene anyway. I didn't realise we hadn't actually <sighs> left the cave. Uh... Hmm, <laughs> not seeing. I think there might be an alternative way to get there by like. Yeah. Yeah. This kind of says, I mean. <sighs> Let's search over there now. Let's go do the dungeon then.
it's obviously fine if Voidark and uh, Alexander sort of spread across loads of them anyway. I'm going to reveal this part of the map for... There's a pin in there for some reason. Okay. Wasn't there like a thing? Yeah. We're missing a quest. How the fuck are we supposed to know where the quest is? Only mists were missing a quest as well. Um occurs to me though I know that but I can actually see which quest we're missing we're missing the second yellow second quest so I can check where that is 